Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nicola. I'm a mum of two and I love making lifestyle videos. So vlogs, hauls, organisations, cleaning, all that sort of stuff. So if you like that sort of thing, I would love it if you would subscribe. And you can do that by clicking the button just down here. I set myself a target of a thousand subscribers by the end of the year and it started off so well. And then over the summer, it's just gone really slow. So I've got still got quite a way to go. So if you're not subscribed, and I know that about 80% of people that watch these videos are not, then just click the button, just click it. I only make one video a week generally. And so I'm not gonna bombard you with loads of stuff and it would really help me out. So yeah, click it, click the button. Anyway, today I'm making my favorite type of video. I know it's a bit cliche to say that autumn is your favorite time of year. Everybody says it, oh, I love autumn, but I do, I love it. And I have done for a long time. I am a bit, go a bit crazy in the seasons. I don't know if you've been watching my channel for a while, you might've seen some previous like home decor videos that I've done. I go mad at Christmas. Easter, spring and in autumn. I don't generally do much over the summer, um, probably because we're not at home a lot anyway, we're always out and about doing stuff, but um, autumn probably is my favourite. I've got the most stuff, home decor stuff for Christmas, but autumn is probably my favourite. And um, this weekend coming, we're gonna get all of our stuff down from the attic and I'm gonna start blitzing the house and putting everything out. So I'll probably, that will probably be next week's video actually, is my like autumn home decor, home tour. Um, so I went to TK Maxx and HomeSense just this last week and pick up, picked up a few new bits to uh, put around the house. I know it's not really, I don't know if it's really the done thing in the UK to decorate for autumn, but I love it. I love all the colours. I love the way it makes the house feel. It's warm, it's cosy, and yeah, it's just my favourite thing to do. Um, but it's quite difficult to get good home decor for autumn in this country. I think when you're in the States, there is so much stuff there. Um, I could probably go and fill two suitcases and bring them back with autumn homeware. But um, yeah, was, I struggled to get stuff. And actually, I must say, I was a little bit disappointed with what I found in HomeSense and particularly HomeSense. TK Maxx had probably a little bit better selection. But HomeSense, I was quite disappointed with what there was. Uh, there were no wreaths. I quite fancy getting a new autumn wreath this year. There were none. Uh, there were no little signs or plaques or anything like that. Lots of candles and that's about it. And loads of Halloween stuff. And although we do decorate for Halloween, I wasn't really looking for Halloween. I was more looking for autumn or fall, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, I did manage to find some stuff. So I'm going to show you now. Um, I brought out my autumn candle from last year this is one that i bought back from bath and body works in america um is pumpkin pecan waffles is one of my favorite i like them so sparingly because we can only get them when we go to america and we don't go that often so um this is not even half used so i'm looking forward to using that this year anyway enough talking let's get on with the haul okay so i'll start with skinny syrup so I've got some of these down on my coffee station downstairs. I've still got some from last year. I don't use them that lot. That I don't use them that much because it's only me that drinks coffee in this house. However, I need to stop going out and buying expensive coffees. So I bought this to try and encourage myself to use one that's at home. And this is the pumpkin caramel skinny syrup. So it's zero calories, zero sugar. I'm sure it's really not very good for you but I don't have it that often. So um, it was 3 dollars and this was from TK Maxx. And I, th I know they have loads in HomeSense as well of all different flavors like pumpkin spice, pecan, waffle and all sorts, loads and loads of different ones. And just adding a little bit of this to a coffee or a hot chocolate um, really makes it cozy and warm and lovely. So um, yeah, I got that one. What shall we move on to next? Let's talk about tea towels. I got these. Um, uh, do you know, I really wanted just some autumn tea towels and I did get some from HomeSense last year and I still have them. They're looking a bit grubby now. I pro problem is with tea towels, I tend to just use them all year round. I don't just use them. I have them out on display during the season and then for the rest of the year, we just use them. So uh, they don't look that nice the following year. I should really put them away, shouldn't I? Anyway, I got these, which are more Halloween-y than autumn, but they were cute. Um, these were from HomeSense and they were $4.99 for a set of two. Oh, look. 
there's an in <laughs> there's a recipe. I don't know if you can see. There's a little recipe on the tag. It says mummy dog recipe. Six hot dogs, one package of crescent roll dough. Oh, so it's like um like a croissant hot dogs. They're nice. Um, anyway, that's a, like a Halloweeny recipe. Oh, there's another one on the back. No, there isn't. It's in French. Um, so yeah, I got those two um, tea towels with a free hot dog recipe attached. And yeah, they're lovely. They're kind of nice, soft. A lot of the tea towels were the just the plain cotton material ones, and I find they don't dry things very well. These are more. These are toweling, and I like them better. So I got those. What next? What next? Pumpkin. I got this one. Um, this is a light up one. This was from Home Sense. It was four ninety nine. I need to put. Oh, actually, let's see if it works. Yay! There we go, it lights up, and I thought it was really cute. So it is just sort of um, a, like a whitewash paint on there, and it's got like an effect of little leaves all around it with a little brown stalk, and I just thought it was really lovely, and I'm um, not sure where I'm gonna put it yet. I shall really enjoy going around with all these things and then getting out all the things that I had from last year and putting them around the house. It's my absolute favorite thing to do. <laughs> I know, I'm sad. Uh, right, that's that. Another pumpkin is this little trinket tray, which I love. It was three ninety nine. This was from TK Maxx. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for yet. Whether I put it, I might put it on my coffee station in the kitchen with something on it, coffee coffee sachets or something. I don't know, but I loved it and uh, just nice. The nice orange colour. It's just warm and nice. So that was that. More pumpkins. So I said there weren't many signs. These ones they did have in Home Sense. Um, they are more ha Halloween-y because it says beware, but it's got the pumpkins on. There was a one with, I think, mummies on the top which said trick or treat. I thought this was slightly more autumnal than that one, so I got this one. This was 5 .99. It's like, uh, I don't know what it's made out of actually, like a plaster, it's not wood, um, but I thought it was really cute. I love the pumpkins and I thought that would look nice hanging in our hallway downstairs. So I got that. Then these two, I, I went in at the probably middle of, end of August and I saw these two jars and I couldn't decide which one to get. So I got this one and then I went back last weekend and got the other one as well, um, which was a bit naughty, but I love them both. So it's this one, which is this lovely jar. It's got a cork lid and like a hessian bow. It was 7 99 and this was from TK Maxx and it's filled with little foam pumpkins and nuts and berries and all sorts. Now I don't know whether you're supposed to take all this out and then display them in a bowl or something but I think it looks lovely just as it is. So I am going to leave it like this and it's going to go on my shelves downstairs in the kitchen and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So I will keep this for many years to come. And I think this is the best thing about decorating for the seasons is that you collect things each, each year. It's like Christmas. I've got boxes and boxes and boxes of Christmas decorations, put them all up in the loft to bring them out. And over the years, I remember where I got things or when I got things. And, you know, I just think that it, it becomes a special thing and it's things that we can keep for years and years. And, and I've started doing the same for the rest of the seasons. So Easter, I keep adding to my little collection and then the same for autumn. So these I can see me having, you know, when I'm in my 60s, I'll still have these and bring them out each year. So that was that one. And then the other one is this one, which has got these tiny little pumpkins in. I have no idea what they are. It just says GC Naturals Pumpkin Spice Decorative Fruits. I'm wondering whether they're scented. Problem is, I don't know whether I want to take the lid off to find out because it's 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 got a cork lid in it. I think they are, I think they're scented, so it might be. I don't know, I don't want to take them out of the jar. I think they look so pretty in the jar. I'll see, I'll see what I decide to do. Anyway, this one was 6 99 it's slightly smaller than the other one. And then as you can see, it's got all of these little teeny tiny pumpkins, all different colors inside. And I thought it was just beautiful. So again, that will go on my shelves or might go in here actually in the lounge. But yeah, I loved it. So that was that. And then I got three candles. I could have bought loads. I mean, they were so nice. 
I, the one behind me is so strong. All I can smell is that at the moment. It's lovely. It's making me quite hungry. Um, so first of all, I got this um, one which is from Sand and Fog. They actually, they Sand and Fog and DW Home are probably my two most favourite candle brown, brands and the ones that smell the nicest. This one was 7 99 so slightly more expensive than, than some maybe that you might buy. And it, it is Pumpkin Harvest. Yeah, and it's not as sweet as this one, which is the pe Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. It's slightly more spicy, but it's lovely. Really, really nice. I think I might have that one in my office downstairs. And it also, I like the fact that it's got, it's got a wooden lid with this pumpkin on the top, which I think is really cute. And it's got this orange glass candle holder. And then I got another one from Sand and Fog, which is this one, which is going to come in here because our decor in here is mostly grey and obviously over autumn it will have accents of um, orange and gold. It's got, well I have a, um, a garland, a leaf garland that goes on our mantelpiece here. Um, so this is grey with sort of green and orange on the lid. So you can see it's got like a little garland on the lid there and it's a grey candle and this is apple cider. So, it just smells like apples, <laughs> really nice. So not quite, not too sweet. So it'd be nice to have perhaps this one sometimes and then sometimes this one in here, which isn't too sweet, um, but yeah, it smells amazing. So I should enjoy that one. Um, so that's that one. And that was also 7 99 And then last but not least, I got this Sand and Fog one. I didn't buy any DW Home ones actually. I, they were all Sand and Fog. This was just 2 99 and this is gonna go on my coffee station. Um, do you know, I don't even know what scent it is. Oh, it's pumpkin spice. Um, and this is really cute because it's got a little penguin on the top with his woolly hat on, can you see? And I think that was really, really sweet. And it smells, yeah, not as strong as those two and just, just spicy really. I think a lot of the, I said to Andrew when I bought this first one, I said, do you like this one? And he said, yeah, they all just smell of cake. I don't tell the difference. I don't, how can you tell the difference? To me, they all smell very different. But this one is much cakier, I suppose, and like that one there. Whereas this one is much more spicy. And yeah, nice flavor. Um, I love that. And that is everything that I bought in Home Sense and TK Maxx. Um, I am pretty sure I'll be going back just to see if there's anything else because yeah, I was pretty disappointed with the selection. I thought there would be a bit more and I might have to try and order. I did have a look on Etsy and they had lots of little wooden plaques and I would really like a couple of those. They're quite pricey though because a lot of them come from America. So um, I'm not sure whether I'll splash out or not, but I might. Anyway, I hope you loved this haul. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you probably for my autumn home tour or home decor video next week. I'll see you then. Bye.